So welcome. Thank you for coming today. I know that many of you come a long way, and I know that um, today's going to be really important. It's, it, it's an opportunity to discuss and debate and share your thoughts about the proposed college. And because you're here, I know that many of you will have um, already already have um, read a great deal about the, uh, the work that we've been doing. But a few things to start off with. As a teacher, I find this quite hard, but if you do want to get your phones out and tweet, please feel free. Uh, provided you're taking in a little bit of what we're talking about, that would be fantastic. We're going to use a couple of different um, uh, hashtags today. We're going to use the COT chat, and that's allowing people to interact as we, uh, as we discuss. So the COT chat will be running for the delegates here today. Also, we've got the hashtag Claim Your College. So if you want to share ideas, thoughts with the Twitter RT that will be following us today, please do that. And I really would encourage you to, uh, to get tweeting. There's, there's so many people interested in what we're doing, but still, last night I was looking through and there's still people saying, what's it about? How do I find it? So get out there, you know, direct people to the website and the things we've been talking about today. We plan to have a, a Twitter feed, a Twitter wall, but unfortunately, with the, with the technical, uh, technical side of it, we couldn't get, make that happen. But I know that many of you, I can see, have, have got your phones and, and your iPads, so please follow that on the, uh, on the Twitter feed. Also, we've got the, um, the Google Docs. It's a shared document. And on there, if you, if you go on, it's got the four discussion points that we're going to look at today. Um, I've, I've tweeted it. I know a number of people have retweeted it. Please, let's encourage people to give their thoughts, because if we're going to really and truly claim our college, we've got to get the, everybody's ideas, everyone's opinions, uh, and draw them together for, for the proposal that we're hoping to put forward. And finally, a big thank you to Leon, who's doing some videoing for us today. The video is going to go on the uh, Claim Your College website, and I know that that's going to we're hoping that's going to be the forum for all the teachers, all the, all the interested parties, to really get involved and put their views forward. And the final notice, I'd like to introduce uh, Elan, if you give us a wave. Elan's got a handheld cam, and we're, we're trying to put a, um, a promotional video together that can go on there that's going to that's sort of give a flavour of what we've done today, give a flavour of what we've talked about, and how you feel, and, and, and the thoughts that you're going to take away with you. So if uh, Elan uh, comes up and asks you to share some thoughts, please, uh, please be uh, forthcoming with that. So I've been teaching for about 15 years. Originally, I was a design engineer. I, I trained with um, up in Liverpool as an aerospace engineer and worked in... Derby with Rolls-Royce for a number of years. But then I was seduced by the idea of, of shaping minds for the future. I worked as a TA for a long time, uh, finally retrained in Bath, and I've been really fortunate in my career to work in a, a number of excellent schools, both rural, uh, inner city, really challenging schools, predominantly in primary school. But at the moment, I'm working at uh, King Alfred's in Wantage, which is uh, part of a, a larger Vale Academy Trust. And I hope, having worked in classes from year one right through to year 11, that I hope I've got something to offer the debate today. As I'm sure all of you have come with lots of ideas that you want to share. Ah, my click is finally working. So, why are we here? This is not an exhaustive list, I realise that. But why are we here? We're here to change education. You know, we're all in education, and that's why we've come here today. Because at some level inside, we want to improve what we're doing. We want to change the way in which we educate young people. And, ch and the College of Teaching is going to give us that opportunity. Teachers want to be in control of the long-term strategic direction of education. We can do that. We know we can. And I think how we, how we work with teachers to, to drive how they think and how they learn and how they develop, it's all got to come from, from the teachers. And... I know that we can use that to shape the profession that we're all in. And ultimately, what we want is what we've been promised for decades. Professional autonomy, true professional autonomy. We can, we can really claim that. This campaign is all about teachers taking control of our profession and no longer being driven by Whitehall. This is a, it's a once in a lifetime chance. We really can do this. And I know that today is, that is the first steps Getting down your views, encouraging others to get involved is absolutely essential. And I would absolutely promote anybody today to go away and talk about what we've done. Talk about the things that were difficult and the challenges we face. Because it's not, it's not going to be easy. We've proved that already. Uh, it, was, it, it was challenging enough trying to get this together, but I'm so pleased so many of you have come here today. 
The college has got cross-party support. All the political parties are supporting this. They know that having an independent voluntary organisation that promotes this, raising the standards of teaching is the way forward. And they know we can do it. And ultimately, you know, this professional body, there's been a void for too long. Teachers can fill that. The College of Teaching will allow us to fill that void. And we, all the people here with our views and our thoughts, can collectively make a difference. And we can reclaim our professional status that for too long has sat in the wilderness. Some people say it's going to be quite difficult to have an independent college. Some people say that it'll never happen. But if it's going to be teacher-led, we know that once we've got that independence, it's going to be the strength, it's going to be the foundation of any college we develop. And we also know that once teachers have got that college, once that, they've got that independence, they're not going to allow political meddling. They're not going to allow politicians to be telling them what to do. For too long, politicians have used education as a, as a pawn for their own devices. The College of Teaching can change that forever. Imagine, if you will, the opportunity where class teachers can stay in the classroom, developing and defining what outstanding practice is for those professionals around them. And imagine opening the, the TS in years to come seeing a plethora of adverts, teachers with specialism, teachers required or desirable having ch chartered status. The governors of every school in the land would like to appoint teachers with research as a specialism. Please put your applications in. That would be amazing. And we can work towards that. We really can. No longer, do those, no longer would those seeking to stay in the classroom have to compromise their beliefs because they've got ambition and feel they have to move into some managerial position that's removing them from the very place we need them. If we're going to be a teacher-led college, if we're going to be evidence-based, it's absolutely vital that those classroom teachers have the opportunity to stay in the classroom. And it's essential that those opportunities for those outstanding practitioners are created by the leadership of school. Which brings me to the issue of involvement. Now, if anybody, I, I know most, of, having met most of you today, I know that many of you are in the uh, part of the Twitter arty that are following us, and I know that the idea of involvement is a really contentious issue. It, it, there may be a question about question, uh, a question that's put forward about: Are we truly professional? Are we truly do we do we have autonomy if we're being told by the um, the leadership, the ed educational institutes? how to be. Well, I, th I think we've got to have some involvement of the head teachers, the governors, the system's leaders. We've got to allow them the chance to offer their opinions and their views. Because if we want the college to be valued, they're the people who are going to create these opportunities in school. Now, I'm not saying they're going to run it. I just think we need to be able to listen to their views and their opinions. And at some point, make sure that they're considered with the proposal we're putting forward. The College of Teaching is not about them and us. It's about one profession together. Career-long professional development. A new college doesn't want to provide CPD. What it wants to do is ensure that the members of the college can access the best CPD, which is going to be complemented by the mentoring and the peer support that we're going to put forward. And I know it's a cliche, but if, we, if you went to the doctors and, and they did offer you a, a, a you know, prescription of leeches, you wouldn't take that. So why would we expect anything less from teachers? Teachers have got to be at the, at the forefront of their profession. They've got to be up to date with outstanding practice. And that's got to come via evidence from their peers that's, and who've been engaging and contributing to research. And that research has got to be reliable. It's got to be valid. It's got to have some credence and academic rigor and be robust so that we can turn outwardly from the college and say, well, look, we are capable of doing this. We've got the support. We know the mechanisms in which to develop our profession. It's been pointed out to me by a number of people on Twitter that if we're going to be really research literate and critical, it takes years. It's not something that we can do overnight. And that's OK, because the College of Teaching is not going to be something that we're going to do overnight. It's going to be a long-term project. The College of Teaching can support teachers in the long term. And of course, saving the best to last. I did. I talked about putting this at the front, but ultimately, outcomes for young people. That's why we became teachers. That's why we're all here. We care about those, those students, those pupils we teach every single day. 
And they're at the heart of everything we do. And that's the first place we went to, the classroom, when we came into education. We know that they're the future. We know that these minds are going to shape the future of our, of our nation. So any college has got to have those at the very forefront, supporting teachers to make sure the outcomes for young people are the best we can offer. Now, we have got a time limitation. I could go on, and I know that having, having followed to many of you that this is not an exhaustive list, as I said at the start. Professional autonomy, yes, of course we want it. Yes, we, we'll take it. Thank you very much. Chartered status. We know teachers are already doing this. What we're asking for is to be recognized and to celebrate the success and commitment they've got to the classroom. We can learn from them, and the profession can drive forward and raise standards to support the outcomes for those young people. I know that you've all come with ideas of, how, of, of the ways in which you could change the college, and we want to listen. That's why we're here. We want to share our thoughts. It's today's like today that are going to change the way education's run, and it's people like us that are going to do it. Now, looking at the time, and looking at uh, Fiona, who's also looking at her watch, um, I'm not going to spend a huge amount of time going through these. These are the five areas. What will the college do for you? What will it do for its members? Now, if you did your homework, you'll already know that. So if I can introduce Fiona. Fiona's going to come up. Fiona's from the SAT. Welcome, Fiona. Come up. Uh, she's going to tell us a little bit about the running order. And already our time has slipped, so Fiona, I'll, I'll let you do the explaining for that. You're brilliant. Thanks so much, and um, good morning to everybody. It's so great to see you all here. So we're going to move into our discussions section now, and we have a plan, and that plan may work brilliantly. It may go out the window, but this is where we're going to start off with. If I could draw your attention to the agendas that are in front of you, it's a two-page document. You'll see on the agenda we've allowed three um, half-an-hour slots for the first three discussion points. And then there'll be a further slot for a closing discussion point. Now for those first three discussion points, we're all going to be in groups. Each group will have a facilitator. I have to say that word slowly. <laughs> now the facilitator's role is very simple. It's to enable everyone in that group to um, contribute to the discussion, to respond to the questions, and to make sure we have that breadth of coverage. The facilitator will either themselves jot down the key points on the post-it notes on the table, or they will nominate, so volunteers welcomed here, somebody to be the scribe and to do that. From each discussion group, we want you to summarise as a group five key points on that discussion theme, please. Okay? So in a moment, what we'll be doing is moving into those discussion groups. How do you know which discussion group you're in? Ha -ha. Have a look at your name badge. Right at the bottom, you'll have a number and a letter. If you could move to the numbered group to start with, please. The tables each have on them some numbers. Can I ask someone just sitting near those pink sheets with the numbers, please, just to wave them in the air so you can look out and see your number. So we have table number one down here, two in the middle, three over at the far side at the front, four over the back, five in the middle, six on this side, and seven right at the back there, okay? So if you could, in a moment, move to that discussion group. The facilitators are assigned to each group too. They will meet you there. On your agenda, just to get some sort of thoughts and conversations going, you will see a blue line across says discussion point one with some key sort of starter questions there to consider. You've got a, just under half an hour. At the end of that half an hour, five post-its, please. Just five key points. And we'd like to stick them just above that wooden ladder over there. And then we'll move on to the next group. Clear as custard? Any questions? Okay, go. 